Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to bake ambient occlusion onto your meshes in Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump right into that. You don't want to use a cube because it's a little too simple. Well, I'm not going to use one, so I'm going to use Suzanne. So press X to delete it, press space, add mesh, monkey, and now we have our monkey Suzanne here. And press RX90 so she'll face forward. So let's go ahead and go into edit mode and let's split this here just right click right there and press play, sorry press split area and then go over here to UV image editor okay if we press U and unwrap it right now we'll get a very ugly UV layout we can't even see what's where the mouth is well you almost can but it's this is very sloppy so what we need to do because this is a whole mesh without any openings barely except for the eye sockets we need to cut it so that it, we can get 2d information out of our 3d mesh and what we need to do to do that, to cut it is to mark seams so a good way, uh, place to mark seams in this case is to just put it down from like the forehead here down to the bottom part of the neck almost where it reaches the neck part so just there to there let's just shift right click all the way up there oops accidentally selected one I wasn't supposed to and there we have a nice continuous loop there well it's not continuous but it's straight so press control E to bring up the edge specials and press sorry press <laughs> mark seam and if we press everything you can see our UV layout here and then press U Sorry for the sloppy talking. It's a little late right now here. And we get a very nice UV layout. I'm going to go to a tab out of edit mode and add a subsurf modifier. And with one level and apply it just so we have some more vertices to work with. So select everything again, press U, unwrap. Okay. Now let's go ahead and press image new and just press OK. It doesn't matter what color but I like white and the reason you want to do this is because in order to bake the ambient occlusion onto the UV layout here it needs to have an image to bake on and without it it would say no image is found to bake on. So now before you do anything else you want to go over here to the material tab, go to the worlds tab, go to ambient occlusion and just turn on ambient occlusion so that you know you can bake it. So now let's go over here to bake turn on amb go to ambient occlusion this is in the, in the render tab if you didn't catch that and select normalized and this makes it so that any material settings you have doesn't affect the ambient occlusion bake so now I'm going I'm gonna press bake but first I'm gonna pause it because it goes faster if I don't have it recording and I don't want to make you guys sit through that okay so I'm just gonna pause it really quick okay so just finished it took about a minute about 60 seconds if we tab out right now you can see it baked the ambient occlusion. Now, one thing about UV mapping, let's go to textured mode to see it. One thing about UV mapping is, just like with cloth, you get seams, and that's where the two halves of it meet. And there's this little, almost unrecognizable line, but the line is there. And the key to mastering UV mapping is to know where you can hide your seams. But that's how you bake your ambient occlusion. It's pretty nice and that way now we can just go ahead and turn amb ambient occlusion off over here. Let's press O here and we can go ahead and zoom in here. Let's go ahead and just set up the camera so we can get a quick render. Oops, sorry. Okay, that's that's good enough right there. We join this here. Now, just like my UV mapping and texturing tutorial, that's an image. So we need to go over here, go here, give it a texture. Go over here, add new image, and just load the the texture there. And then you want to go over here to map input UV. 
Now, if you want to, you can use this as a bump map image, and I'm going to be I'm going to be making a bump mapping tutorial. But what bump mapping does, it basically takes the one and zero values, which is white and black, and it turns it and make turns it into a value that can make that can distort it. So let's just turn that up a little bit. Well, not that much. Right about there. And uh, let me just set up this light a little better. We're not going for anything really great, just quick. You just want a, just a really quick three point lighting system. Okay. And now let's go ahead and render it. I'm also going to be making a introductory video to Blender 2.5. There's a whole another set of tutorials that I'm going to be making for Blender 2.5. And there you have it. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and set it smooth first. Just so you can see the effect of it. Okay. And the graininess is from the normal map. So it looks looks okay. But uh yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's how you bake ambient occlusion onto your meshes. So thanks for watching this. And be sure to watch some more. Thank you. See you guys later.